Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For me today is New Year's Eve, which means it's the 31st of December. Weird, because this is going up a long time from now, when I'll actually be almost on my return journey from Australia. However, it's currently two days until I leave to go to Oz. I'm so excited, but I'm also really nervous. If I haven't already uploaded a vlog from my last few days in in the UK, that will be going up soon. It might have already gone up, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about like what I'm nervous about, what I'm excited about, and just what I'm doing in my run up to leaving. However, I really don't think I could have done this trip without filming a pack with me because I have never been on a trip like this. So, if you don't know what I'm doing, and if you haven't been following my Instagram, you will not know that I am currently backpacking the east coast of Australia for seven weeks, and I have never packed for a seven week trip, nor have I ever been backpacking. So I have bought a bag that's actually more of a suitcase because I didn't want to do it from like a, a 60 litre rucksack or whatever it is, because I suffer really badly with a bad back, and I constantly have like, my back just always hurts basically, and I just thought that's really not gonna make the trip as enjoyable as it could be. So I'll show you what I'm traveling with. <laughs> Before we get going. This is what I'm traveling with. Basically, if I back up a bit, it's like a giant hold all. So I got this from Argos, it was 30 pounds, and it unzips from the top, so basically you would like lay it down flat like a suitcase. But it does have wheels, so you can wheel it like a suitcase, and it also has a handle. However, it's super soft material and it's really easy to pick up. So like it looks a bit like a backpack. It's roughly the same size as what a backpack would have been, um, but it just means that I can pull it on wheels and it should still fit in all of the hostels, lockers that I'm staying in, and it should be easier to wheel around like an airport and stuff. So this is my checked in luggage. So I'm checking this in at the airport and hopefully, fingers crossed, picking it back up in Dubai and then picking it up again in Melbourne. I'm also taking this rucksack which is a little like regular sized rucksack but it's deceptive you can fit so much in this and I'm taking this as my hand luggage and then I'm also taking this backpack as hand luggage so these two are coming on the plane with me and the other one is being checked in. I have currently not packed anything so I thought we'd start now. So I am surrounded by mess but I'm gonna try and talk through most things that I have here so these are like all of the essentials I don't really know what you'd call them kind of like toiletries but they're not all toiletries um there's like mouthwash and then I've got some socks here makeup remover a memory card so I do need to sort through all of these um me and my mum actually did just go through it all and get rid of all of the cardboard packaging because things like toothpaste come in unnecessary packaging which make it like bigger and bulkier but yeah I have here quite a few packing cubes so the brand that I'm mainly going to be using are Travel Nation now a few years ago they actually kindly sent me these and I hadn't really had a use for them but obviously now I do um, and then I have a couple of others in here that my mum has these are by Sun Tribe Travel um, and these are just really good at condensing down your packing so if you've never used a travel cube before basically what it does it means you can fit a lot more stuff into a really small space and then kind of like squash it so for example I have this one I told a lie I have already packed a little bit stuff these are my swimsuits my towels and my like shorts um, but not my denim shorts just fabric shorts and then in here I have like my microfiber towels so this is like a pink one and then I also bought a purple one and basically this is because obviously I'm traveling in hostels I'm not gonna have towels that you have in a hotel however I didn't want to pack like a bath towel and I've never camped before or anything like that so I didn't really know what you took with you I was like do you just take one towel? Do you not take a towel? Do you rent them at the hostel? And I think you can do that, but these are just apparently really good for drying you really quickly, and they're also good as beach towels as well, so that is good. So these are already in here, but I reckon I can fit some more stuff in this packing cube because these can be squashed down. This really feels like a big challenge, I'm not gonna lie. So this was something else I haven't really thought about, but I'm going to try to take both of these pairs of shoes plus the pair that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna travel in my Air Force because they're quite bulky, but then my thinking is Converse are really quite flat and I can probably squash these down but if I can't fit all of them I just won't bring my gym shoes because I'll have these and I know these are comfy and then I'll also have my air force so I don't really need any others and then of course I'm taking some flip-flops but I mean in terms of like trainers the amount of mess in here already is stressing me out so I think it's time to raid my wardrobe because I can't really start anywhere other than with clothes because that's kind of an essential my version of packing usually is one of everything. <laughs> I don't think I can do that this time. <laughs> Guys, I've just emptied my wardrobe of things that I wanted to bring and I think this is an actual joke, so, hmm. <laughs> 
Right, so far, I think we're doing okay. I've got knickers and bralettes in here, which is like a cute little case. And that is really compressed because I must have about 20 pairs of knickers in there. So that's good. And then here I've got swimwear and fabric shorts and then brand new socks and brand new knickers that are like tagged and stuff from Christmas just because they just didn't fit in there basically and I think I'm gonna leave it there I probably could fit something else in here but I want to be able to like squash it and compress it into there oh my god guys the mess the mess so we're gonna move on we're gonna move on so quite a lot of what I'm packing are just strappy tops so this is just a strappy top then I have like two more strappy tops here and I'm not sure I actually will wear every single one of these tops so as I'm packing them I'm gonna really narrow it down because I think that basically these are the essentials it's so hot out in Australia at the minute that I don't really think I'll be wearing too many like t-shirts or thicker items so i feel as though we are making real progress my only issue is fitting it all in so the last thing i've just done is pack like a first aid kind of kit so this isn't like cosmetics really this is more um, random bits and bobs that until travelling to Australia I've never really needed so I've got mosquito repellent I've got more mosquito repellent apparently my mum thinks I'm going to be bitten to death by mosquitoes after bite care which my friend actually got me this is apparently really good for taking the sting out of a bite if you get bitten I've then got some really high SPF sun cream for your face um, just other stuff bits and bobs like this I've got antiseptic to be honest, I have got my shower gel and stuff in here. I've got a travel size one and I've got a full size one. I probably could have bought those at the airport, but I think I'd rather go with the majority of stuff and then stock up when I'm out there rather than have to buy stuff and then somehow fit it into my case that's hopefully already packed and like sent off. So yeah, then I just have a few bits and bobs that didn't fit in here. So my micellar water, which is a big micellar water, but I think this will last the whole time. Maybe I should have got a smaller one. I don't know why I've got a big one. And then also have an after sun. Again, quite big, but this is quite thin. But I want to put these in like a waterproof pouch or something in case they leak. But that is most of it pretty much packed. I then have a clear wallet for the airplane. Not all of this is going in here, but this was just me separating it between like hand luggage and main luggage. I then found the only cap that I own, which is this ugly thing. Um, but I figured it's not really about fashion, is it? I'll just have to deal with the fact that I don't suit a cap. If any of you have watched You Season 2, I feel like gonna say Dan not Dan Joe when he um is like going undercover and he's like hiding you know what I mean has anybody seen you season two it's just come out so it's quite current right now but I guess for you guys it's a few months old shall we begin trying to squash it into the case I don't know <laughs> this is gonna be funny oh I feel like I should also speak about these these are compressed like Tupperware which I actually got in TK Maxx and quite a lot of the days I'm probably going to be making my lunch in the hostel and then like bringing it out with me so I thought these were great for like pasta or like sandwiches even basically they look like this and you just pop them out and it's then like a little bowl um, which I thought was cool, perfect for like travelling around, um, I'm just thinking now, I actually don't know if I'll be able to fit my lunch in here. Yeah, it'll have to, won't it? This still has a foam thing in it. Wow. Yeah, that'll be fine, this is deceptive, it'll definitely be alright. Okay, we're gonna try and squash it all in now. This'll be where the challenge really, really starts. We love a fun time. I actually don't feel as though I've done too badly here at all. Like, this will fasten, only just. I can actually move these. There's quite a big gap here, but I haven't got a makeup bag yet because I still have to do my makeup for tonight and tomorrow. So my makeup bag and, like, actual toilet bag will go in here. And then that's pretty much this packed. But I still have the entire back part of this backpack. Now, I am bringing my laptop and my GoPro, so that will fill up most of it. But I definitely could fit something else in here. So um, that's good. I want to have more room than I need. Obviously, this isn't the kind of holiday where I'm going shopping or I'm going to be really bringing anything back but I do I'd rather have a bit more room rather than literally full to bursting on the way out there I also haven't put my hair straighteners or my hairbrush in there yet actually but I think I might bring I'll try and pack my hair straighteners in the big suitcase so that I don't have to take them out of security and the hairbrush obviously will come in my hand luggage what else haven't I got I think I am actually pretty much there I'm bringing this travel pillow which I've had forever literally it feels kind of gross but it's quite small and there's a little slot for it on the side of the backpack. Plus it's a 24 hour flight. So I'm hoping that some sometime maybe on the 24 hours I might get some sleep, some rest, which would be lovely. Uh, not holding my breath though. Look at all of this stuff that I'm surrounded by. I've taken a couple of things out of the suitcase um, because I was thinking if I could like rejiggle it and put some of it in the backpack. 
Hence the weird angle. I was also getting this thumbnail, which if you're wondering why the heck is she laying down on the floor in the thumbnail, that's genuinely because I've given up and I can't be bothered. But I'm gonna take a little break because I do have all day tomorrow as well and I do think I'm pretty much there, which I wasn't expecting. Um, to be honest, I thought it was gonna take the whole afternoon, the whole day, but it actually hasn't taken too long. It is now the next day. I look a bit rough because last night was New Year's Eve, but we're just gonna power through and carry on. This is the current packing situation. This morning, I managed to get this bag closed and stood up with everything in it. So the only thing that I've added that you guys haven't seen is my toilet bag and my hair straighteners, but I am actually gonna end up taking both of them out because I need to use them today. I just wanted to check that they fitted. This backpack is exactly the same, and then I've packed a couple of bits into here. Here. I've got my Chili's water bottle and then my clear bag which I'm actually going to be taking through security um, There are a few things that I need to add to this because I haven't got like my um, Mascara and my concealer and my deodorant which will be in here But the rest of this is pretty much all that I'm going to be taking and this is a really big clear bag as well We actually got this in I think this was from Primark. I'm not too sure my mum got me it for Christmas And yeah, I've just got a little thing of pseudocrum. I don't know really why it just ended up in there But you never know when you might need some pseudocrum. So yeah, I also have this padlock because this is for obviously when I'm at the hostel I'm gonna have to lock up my bags and put them in a locker because you know My only fear is that bag might not fit because I thought in my head It was a little bit smaller than what it actually is and I think that now I'm looking at it I'm like I'm not too sure if that will fit in a locker So what I'm gonna have to do is make sure that all of my expensive stuff and my valuables are in this backpack Because that will definitely fit in a locker and then I can lock that away And if it came to it I could probably get away with just leaving that bag locked in the hostel but like underneath my bed or on my bed or whatever and then if it got stolen which I would obviously be gutted about but it would only have like non-valuable stuff in it so yeah I don't know I'm hoping it will still fit in the hostel locker. I also got added into a group chat this morning from my first tour so the first tour that I'm doing is in Melbourne it's with Welcome to Travel um, which are a travel company and we got added into a group chat on whatsapp so there's about 15 people in the chat from what i can see and nobody's really spoken in it yet or anything but from the people added into it you can see their numbers and from their numbers you can see their area codes and from that i worked out where they're all from because i was like oh obviously i recognize that plus 447 is a british number or a uk number um, and they're majoritively uk numbers which is crazy because I thought it would be like majority like American or like there's a lot of German people on these tours and there are quite a lot of German and American in here as well but yeah I think 15 is a really nice number because there's two tour guides and it's like one group of I think there's about 14 or 15 of us so that is how my morning has been so far I actually didn't go up until 11 because I figured I might as well have a lie-in for the last time because tomorrow I have to leave at 8 which isn't early but it's like it's not a lie-in um so Tom and I stayed in bed until 11 a.m but it's fine it's New Year's Day. So guys, it is pretty much all ready to go. It's been like 20 minutes. I've just had a little jiggle around of all of the stuff just one last time and I'm pretty much there. So I'm gonna end this packing video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's a bit of a random one. It's not very like professional, but I just thought I would show you how and what I've packed. And if you have any other questions, leave them down below in the comments because I know I've watched a lot of videos like this and I'm like, well, how did they get away with taking that on the plane? And can they take that? And can you fit that? And where did you get your bag from and stuff? So I will leave the actual luggage bag and the packing cubes in the description down below if you wanted to buy them. They're from Argos and Travel Nation. The rest of the stuff, generally, this is obviously a can come backpack. Um, and this is just like, I don't even know who this is by. This is just a rucksack that was in our house already. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. The next video or the video after that will be one of my first Australian travel vlogs. So I'm so excited for that. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please head down below and do that so that you don't miss it. I'm gonna put everything into this content because I'm so excited to get some really really good videos out of this trip So yeah, subscribe down below if you're not already so that you don't miss it Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the first one and I shall be back on my channel very very soon. Bye guys!